as a government, if I can speak of the Malaysian government, we do not disagree if you put forward constructive criticisms of the government. I think any government, and I've said it from day one, that the era the government knows everything or the government knows best is over. Let's face it, we cannot know all and we will not know all. We want to know from you, bloggers who represent the Malaysian community, we need to know your views, even your constructive criticism. But where we should draw the line, if you use the cyberspace to tell lies, to tell half-truths. And that's where I agree with Tun Mahadeh that there must be a line where you cannot transgress. There is no limit to the good that blogging can bring about to our nations and our region. For that to happen, the bloggers in this region need to come together in a formal manner. Yes, of course, this could pose a bigger threat to government, but that, I believe, is an extreme view. I am optimistic in the sense that I believe that more good can come of this union. Governments of today are being challenged not just with the use of guerrillas and mercenaries armed to the teeth with deadly weapons, but also by the deployment of cyber troopers who wage viral warfare with the might of the keyboards, keypads and smartphones as the Iran Twitter revolution in 2009 and the recent Facebook revolution in Egypt manifested itself. We are also one of the most ardent Facebook fans. There are approximately 10.1 million users of Facebook in Malaysia. I have no doubt whatsoever that Malaysia has one of the liveliest blogospheres in the world and definitely one of the freest if not the most free. Malaysians have to thank to Dr. Mahdi again for this. When he was Prime Minister and Malaysia was developing our multimedia super corridor, Tun made this promise to the world that Malaysia would never censor the internet. My administration is fully committed to that wisdom. 